Hello everyone, I'm Moaz and in this video we'll be solving the assessment problem 9.1 of the book Electric Circuits by J. W. James W. Nelson and Susan A. Riedel. So basically in this question we have four trigonometric functions and we have to convert them into the phasor transform. So without further ado, um, let's start converting these functions into the phasor transform. Let's start with A. So we have this in the form of the function in the form of Vm cos omega t plus theta. So when V is equal to Vm cos omega t plus theta, the phasor transform will become like Vm, the phasor sign, and then we have theta in it. So in our case, we have Vm equal to 170 and the, uh, theta is equal to minus 40 so our phasor uh, answer will be vm which is 170 phasor and minus 40 so this was quite simple let's move to the second part the second option b so we have current where it's represented in the form of I is equal to I m sine omega t plus theta. So in, over here we have sine. So in order to convert from sine to cos, we have to subtract 90 from theta. So over here, our function is 10 sine 1000 t, 1000 t plus 20. So to convert this into cos, I will be 10 cos thousand t plus 20 minus 90 and if we simplify this it will be 10 cos thousand t minus 70 so we have i max which is 10 and we have theta which is minus 70 so our phasor uh, form will be 10 phasor sine minus 70 amps now let's try to solve the sub question C. Uh, C is a bit different. We have um, two different phasors. So I mean two different trigonometric functions which we have to convert to phasor by adding them. So one way we can do that is by con inverse uh, converting them individually into phasors and then finding inverse phases of them then finding a uh, adding them up and then finding the magnitude and phase angle and then um, we can find uh, in the phase notation the added up function so you know um, let me uh, perform this question to make it more clear um, so we have 5 cos omega t plus 36.87 so theta is 36.87 and magnitude uh, vm im is equal to 5 so for this the phasor notation will be 5 phasor 36.87 and then we have plus and then let's convert this as well so the mag um, the ma maximum current is 10 and then we have the phasor phase angle of minus 53.13 so we converted them in, uh, into phasor notation now let's do the inverse phasor so how do we convert this to inverse phasor uh, phase first of all? So if we have some, let's say, the phasor form of like this Vm theta, then we can convert them into inverse phasor by multiplying Vm into cos theta plus j sine theta. So after applying this rule, we can convert them into inverse phasor and that will be 5 cos theta will be cos 36.87 plus j sine 36.87 so this is the first part then we have the 10 phasor minus 53.13 this we can convert it by multiplying 10 into cos minus 53.13 plus 
प्लस जे साइन फिफ्टी आफ्टर फर्दर कैलकुलेशन बाय सॉल्विंग फॉर कॉस थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट एट सेवन एंड साइन थर्टी सेवन थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट एट सेवन एंड देन दिस टू एज वेल वी विल गेट फाइनल आंसर इज फोर प्लस थ्री जे फॉर दिस पार्ट प्लस सिक्स माइनस एट जे नाउ लेट्स एड दम अप वी हैव फोर प्लस सिक्स टेन minus 5j okay so we have our phasor notation inverse phasor notation now we can let's find the magnitude magnitude is represented by z which is equal to root of x square plus y square if we consider this as x and this as y so this will be now equal to root of 10 square plus minus 5 square which is equal to Ten square is hundred plus twenty five. Hundred and twenty five. Root of hundred and twenty five is about eleven point one five. And um, so we have z uh, the magnitude as eleven point one five. Now we have to find the phase angle. So phase angle will be tan inverse of x by y. So our x over here is ten. Sorry, tan inverse of y by x. Our x is ten and y is minus five, so it will be tan inverse of minus five by ten, which is almost equal to minus twenty six point five seven. Therefore, our we got a magnitude, which is represented by z normally, and then we have our Phase angle, which is minus twenty six point five seven, this will help us in converting them easily to the phasor uh, transform. So therefore, uh, the since the magnitude is eleven point one five, then we can write it magnitude and then the phasor notation phase uh, phase angle as minus twenty six point five seven. So this is our final uh, phasor answer. Just like C, uh, we will be trying to solve D. So the difference in C and D is basically the first two parts are same, but the second part and there's a minus here and there's a plus here. But the second part we have hundred sine, which we have to convert to cos, just like we converted from here to cos. If you remember, so we con uh, we minus subtracted ninety degrees in order to convert this to cos. So let's already write the answers for three hundred. Um, you can write it in the phasor form. Three hundred is V max, and then we have forty-five degrees as the phasor angle, and minus. So when we convert sine to cos, we'll subtract ninety, and it will be minus sixty the phase angle. So we have hundred, which is the magnitude, and then we have minus sixty. As a phase phase angle. Now, if we solve for this, uh, we can convert them to the inverse phasor form, which is cos forty five plus j sine forty five, and then we have um, minus hundred into cos sixty. Minus sixty plus j sine minus sixty. Now, if you simplify this, we will get an answer of three hundred by root two j plus three hundred. Sorry, three hundred by root two plus three hundred by root two j minus hundred by two. Minus fifty. Minus fifty. Root three by two. J. Yeah. We simplify this more. We will get an answer equal to one sixty two point one eight plus J two ninety eight point seven three. 
So just like the previous question, let's find the magnitude that is equal to root of x square plus y square, which will be 162.18 squared plus 298.73 squared. We will get an answer of 339.914 millivolts. Now uh, let's find the phasor, uh, phase angle. So the phase angle is tan inverse y by x, which is equal to tan inverse y is 298.73 divided by 162.18. Now if you put this value in a calculator, we'll get an angle of 61.5 degrees. Since we have the magnitude and phase angle, we can write it in the phase notation z um, phase theta z is 339.914 and theta is 61.5 degrees so this is our final answer and we have solved all the four options one by one using different methods so that's it for this video thanks for watching